So let's take a look at graphing slope fields. So looking at number one, we have dy dx equals negative x, and we have to graph the slope field for this differential equation. So the very first step in graphing a differential equation is just setting up a simple table. So we have, we can set up our x values, our y values, and then the dy dx, or you can just write y prime. So notice how we have to plot 12 different points on this graph. So you can basically start with any point you want. So let's just start with the origin, 0, 0. So at 0, 0, my x value is obviously 0. My x and y coordinates are 0. And so for dy dx, in order to calculate that, all we have to do is plug in our values into our dy dx, or differential equation. So notice how we don't even, this equation doesn't even have y. So no matter what the y value is, um, it doesn't matter. All we need to focus on is the x value. So at the x value of 0, we'll get negative 0, obviously. So it's just going to be, the dy dx is just going to equal 0. So once again, since y is not included in this differential equation, I don't even, I don't even have to worry about the y column. So we can just worry about the x. So now let's say we pick the value of the coordinates 1, 0. So at x equals 1 and y equals 0. And once again, we don't have to worry about y. So when I plug in 1, I'll obviously get negative 1 as my dy dx. If I plug in the x value of a negative 1, then it'll be negative negative 1. So that we'll just get the y or dy dx is just going to be 1. So all I need to do now is graph my points. And so at the x value of 0, the slope is going to be 0, since dy dx is 0. So all we're going to do at the x value of 0 is draw a slope or line with a slope of 0. At the x value of 1, dy dx is negative 1. So it's going to have a slope of negative 1. And then at the x value of negative 1, the slope is 1. So let's say now we pick the point here at 0, 1. Notice how when I plug in 0 for my x and 1 for my y, I'm still going to get dy dx as 0, since it doesn't matter whatever I plug in for y, since y is not in the equation. If I plug in 0, 2, I'll still get 0. If I plug in 0, 3, still 0, and so forth. So what this tells us is that the slope is going to be the same at all of the same x values, no matter what the y value is. So at all x values of 0, we're going to have a slope of 0. So at 0, negative 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 2. At all x values of 1, we're going to have the slope of negative 1. So at 1, negative 1, at 1, 0, at 1, 1, and at 1, 2. And at all x values of negative 1, the slope or dy dx is always going to be 1. So at negative 1, negative 1, slope is 1, negative 1, 0, negative 1, 1, and negative 1, 2. So what you can kind of visualize from slope fields is the graph of the antiderivative or the integral function. So if I were to separate these variables and integrate both sides, so we get dy equals x or negative x dx. And then if I were to integrate both sides, the integral of dy is just y, so we get y equals the integral of negative x, which is obviously negative x squared over 2 plus c. And I can rewrite that as y equals negative 1 half x squared plus c. And notice how when I trace these lines, if I go like this, it sort of looks like the graph of negative 1 half x squared, just at different c values. So at c equals 0, this is what the graph will look like, at c equals 1, and at c equals 2. So now let's try to draw the slope field of dy dx equals negative y over x. So once again, we're going to make our x, y, and dy dx or y prime table here. So we can pick any point to start out with. So let's just start out with the very top left corner. So at the point negative 1, 2. When I plug in negative 1 for x and y, or 2 for y, into the dy dx equation, we'll get negative 2 
over a negative one. So at that point, we'll get the slope of two. So now let's try at the point negative one, one. Then if I plug that into the differential equation, we'll get negative one over negative one. So we'll get one as our slope. So it looks something like this. And then let's try negative one, zero at this point. When I plug that in, obviously we get zero divided by uh, negative one, so we'll just get zero. And so at that point, the slope will be zero. And also notice how, let's say if I were to plug in the x value of zero, and let's just say the y value of one, we'll get negative one over zero. And since we cannot divide by zero, the slope doesn't exist at that specific point or in this case, at all x values of zero. So whether it's zero, 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 negative one, zero, negative two, or zero, negative 50, the slope is not gonna exist at any place where the x coordinate is zero. So I'm just gonna write does not exist there. So when it's all said and done, your slope field should look something like this.